Hey guys. So, my little guy is upstairs asleep. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this, uh, the dance yoga session that I am going to be sharing in the Yoga Life program. So, it's going to be a sort of a mashup. So, if you notice, there was also a space that was talked about being the subtle strong, the subtle strong yoga flow. These actually kind of work hand in hand, and these are actually the movements that I'm going to encourage you to play with during the week. The ones that I'm going to give you re ways that you can like be on the couch and check into the pose while you're waiting in line or you're waiting on hold or you're in a Zoom and you're waiting for your turn. You could just like check into that pose that we're working on each week. And I want to show, sorry my face is so itchy, I want to show how spending three minutes a day can make you stronger and how quickly and easily you can see evidence of that in your body and I like to do it by making it fun because maybe you've seen me say this but I don't really like exercise in the way of like I'm exercising to be strong or skinny or whatever those d dirty words are that I just don't you know I don't really like the word exercise I like to move my body when it feels fun I never was able to associate exercise as joy it was always punishment for letting my body become too fat and this was a way to fix it that's what exercise meant to me so I'm still not in a place where saying exercise doesn't really feel like it makes any sense and yoga is not like exercise I mean of course it is exercise but I don't like in my heart feel like I could equally be comparable to someone that is like teaching like circuit training and where you're like busting up sweats and counting things on purpose and stuff like I don't do that I feel like mine is a more mind, body, spiritual, solar size. Let's go there. <laughs> this is a solar size, a solar size. I don't know. Don't, don't fucking listen to me for a minute. Actually listen to me. Back. I was not prepared for a loud ringing while a uh, baby's sleeping. So, what I want to talk about for just a minute is how this is going to play out in our classes each week. So just brief overall, the um, each week we'll have a whole class of the 90 minute gentle flow. That's my main yoga. I kind of feel like if I get one solid hour class every couple of days where I'm just gentle breathing, tuning in with myself, that's enough like when you have to think about like big time chunks you know and most of those movements aren't going to be what you would imagine maybe if you're thinking I'm going to do this once a week these aren't mean we're going to do like powerful things and like hurt ourselves because we're taking off for a few days that's not it at all it's just by acknowledging that feeling good and being present in our body is just as powerful as working out for hours and hours and hours and hours and this is just something that I've learned and incorporated into my life and yoga has been a big helper in that because yoga by doing the little movements I can literally see my body awaken to new shapes and sizes and because they feel strong and because like one minute I feel like I give my body a hug because everything in yoga with me is how we approach it I'm not going into this like make your body do this or you're not good like in my head we say this is the shape we're reaching for where are you today how does that feel today maybe you feel fine about it maybe you feel like you want to practice this a little more so that you could get into a space where you could hold it a little bit better maybe you could find a little bit of space to open up the heart let your let your chest come through a little more you know that's all up to you maybe you're satisfied maybe you do it a few times and you are noticing other muscles that you haven't activated before and now you're intrigued because that's kind of what happened to me anyway so each week we'll have a pose of the week which is going to be not maybe what you would expect maybe it's exactly what you expect we'll have a pose of the week I will show you my explanation of the pose how to break it down from top to bottom and then when we get to the dance session we'll be playing with that yoga pose and now associating it with creative flow letting the body move 
but still those same motions of, so for example, if we were doing mountain pose and that strong midline, you know, energy building, centering, grounding energy, a lot of our dance yoga session would be tapping back into that strong, powerful mountain pose alignment. Does that make sense? With the dance in there, which is kind of fun and tricky, but that's where you got to let, so let me just give an example. So you know how a song starts kind of slow and then it builds momentum and then it's just like a masterpiece, right? The dance sessions will be sort of like that. We'll start with the pose. The idea is that this is what we're moving. We're, we're moving this or we're focusing on this chakra or we're focusing on this feeling or visual. Like I'll cue all that fun stuff. It'll, I, will, I want to keep it interesting. I want to be able to help you connect to your body in a quick, fast, hurry way. You turn on a song, you shut your eyes and you do a little of this with your body and for just a minute you're not here, you know? You're here where the magic lives. And these little three minute dance breaks those are the parts that I do that I feel like the biggest strength and the biggest power and and uh, freeing and clearing of energy and like tuning in and tapping into like the animal instincts in all of us and just letting it just you know shake it out and midday is perfect for that especially as a mom we all know like midday it's like <laughs> like I used to just be like please just give me but you know, that's a waste of a day. I'm wasting segments there and I don't practice that anymore. But I won't keep this too long. I just wanted to give a little bit of visual. So the one session, the subtle strong, will go through the pose breakdown. I'll give you ideas around the house, how to try it. And then I want you to come back and tell me what you found in it. Then, of course, these are all optional because I don't tell you what to do like that. You're grown up. <laughs> but then the dance. Then we'll do that pose with the song adding the creativity aspect and encouraging the fluidity of your body like what feels good right now sometimes we were doing the moon the other night and i kind of love this whole like stirring the soup with the torso and the pelvic bowl kind of thing and i just had everybody kind of sit tall and you know how like i don't know if you know but a lot of times when we're doing seat when we're sitting in our first seat i like to everybody lean into the lap you know and like let the belly and body come into the lap like almost like you're trying to lay your belly into your lap like if you could see my legs here my belly is like in my lap like boobs touching things and then sit back and that kind of like lets your sit bones adjust so that you're in contact with the floor instead of like a penguin bobbing around well, the other night for the moon, one of our ways, because we weren't wanting meditation, but I needed movement. So I'm thinking compromise, right? Lean in. Lean out. Lean in. Lean out. Lean in. Maybe just start to stir to the And just let it kind of be like the top body stirring like a big bowl of soup in the bottom body. But at first it's kind of lazy, like not very rhythmic or pretty. Just loosely taking it all the way around like a very big wooden spoon sticking up way high, you know, out of the big cauldron, my, my pelvic bowl being the cauldron. And then next time you get forward, I like to just shake my head. No, I'm a big fan of shaking my head. No, I'm like, no, 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 no. Go the other way. Just stir it. And I was telling the lady, it's like, just whatever you feel. If you don't feel like doing the stir, don't. If you feel like leaning in, oh, and then go. And that's the fun stuff we'll do, like, at the restorative session where we kind of, like, give self-massage with our body parts, find super comfort, let sounds and sensations, like, kind of take us on a, a receptive experience uh, la, 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 allowing adventure, mm, adventure and in, in surrender and just being like pampered in the still delicious of yoga where you let the mind have its way with you and turn on sounds or just pay attention to your breath or sometimes even like do active breathing while you're laying there and smelling things on purpose and visualizing and stirring soup. And then, you know, you just kind of lean in and go and sometimes you'd be like lean back lean back and then you oh, oh, go all the way over here and there's no wrong way to do that you know once you have the the movement so that you're feeling like you're not gonna wonk out of my thing is like whenever I'm work, I always think like okay whenever I'm trying to teach a new yoga dance movement I think about my middle daughter Madison she's very hyper mobile 
which you would think maybe that's an advantage, but it's not. I think it's actually more dangerous than people with limited mobility because for me as a person that lived with limited mobility and still do have limited mobility in some of my body parts, I'm careful because I don't want to be hurt. She's so hyper mobile. She just like, sometimes it's amazing. Like legs will be there, arms will be there. And I don't understand how any of it got there. It's like horrified and petrified if I'm being totally honest. So now I'm thinking about this kind of fear in grown-ups, which people do tell me this is my codependency. We're not going to get too lost in my healing. <laughs> I don't want to hurt nobody. That ain't yoga to me. So I'm always going to be leaning toward, like, telling you very carefully. So it's never like I'm talking to you like you don't know how to move in your body. I'm just giving you all the ways, all the little nuggets that come to my mind the same way when I'm thinking about my child and how she could just, like, flim-flam and literally have body parts in parts where other body parts are. None of it makes sense. Like, our, how did you get there? I don't even know. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I want to safely move. So once we get that structure, then you're invited. Like, lean back and forth. Let the arms, you know, I'll do a lot of, like, s suggesting breathing with elbows. You know what I mean? Or, um, like, air massage. You know what? It's kind of like what your mind interprets with the sound playing, with dropping into feelings. And, of course, like, we're really lead in safe. I'm not just going to come all in, like, waka, waka, waka. You know, that's that's how Madison would do dance. She would turn up straight up like trap music and she's like. Duh, 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 duh. And then we're all in. I just feel like I gave myself a flash that fast. Great. Now I have to go do some more yoga. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because I would love to keep these all at 15 minutes or less. I'm super excited about these dance yoga dance classes, the super subtle strong, the restorative, and of course my favorite juicy one hour. I'm excited to teach people how these super brief, quick time in tune ins can build big strength. Like doing three minutes of standing strong five days in a row, you're going to feel more strong. You're going to notice more flexibility and strength in parts of your body that you're not even used to like having access to. And for me, that was a big deal. I remember learning how to walk. And then when I tried to say that to a friend, she was like, what the fuck do you mean? I walk with my legs. And I'm like, hmm, I guess that's what I thought too. Until I kind of learned how to break it down. And in my heart of hearts, that's what I'd ultimately like to do. I'd like to dis dissect it all, put it out on this fun little platter. So that while we're hanging out together, we explore what it means in our body. Like, it's really cool when you, so it's a return on a song, right? We're all hearing the same song, but our body's expression is not going to be the same, you know? And don't worry, none of that's getting recorded. When we do our lives, the recording won't be on the Zoom. I'll have already recorded our practical teaching session. You guys just get the advantage of being in the intuitive, free-flowing, natural, nobody's, like, reciting it, like... I'll have recited it for the teaching aspect to share with our recorded messages. But when we're in our Zoom, nobody's going to record. Those moments aren't to be shared, you know? Like, the class will have that work, oh my god, but the whole group, you know, won't have access to that. Just us in that space. And that's going to be, like, really, it's going to be really, 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 really cool, really fun, really safe exploratory, expansive, oh, exciting. You're going to be excited to come and play. You're going to be really, you're not going to be surprised at some of the things I come up with because I'm pretty sure by now we know, like, it, anything goes, right? Okay, 14 minutes and one second. I love you so much. I can't wait to dance and be strong and breathe and all of the above safely with you through this computer screen. Mwah. Bye.